I have to excuse the squeaking of my thongs. <laughs> I've already launched the boat. I'm in a bit of a hurry because I'm actually a tiny bit late. The sun's probably oh, 15 minutes off coming up, but it definitely, definitely light enough. So I'm a little bit late. I am excited about having a coffee before I go barrel fishing because Normally when I go, it's of an evening, or uh, yeah, like of an evening, late afternoon, etc. Then I have a coffee, might have an energy drink or something like that, but even though it is hot as during the day at the moment, it is super nice of a morning. Probably like uh, 23 degrees this morning, maybe. Tiny bit less. Does not, well, main reason I'm so excited today it's the first morning, it doesn't seem to have much wind. There's a bit of waves, so maybe there's some wind coming down from one of the arms, but it doesn't feel like it. Everything was wet this morning, the whole boat was wet. So maybe, maybe this is the aftermath of uh, that storm. But either way, I'm ready. Oh my God. Oh, ho, 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 my. And these are ready. Top water. I think I'm gonna. I think I'll start with the Calcutta again. Just because I love that reel. It's so fun. But let's get after it. Cannot wait. Gonna go explore this morning. Um, similar plan to my last trip, but I would like to catch a fish straight up. So let's go and let's beat the sun. Pretty impressed. That's the first time I've really had to, um, not had to, but drove that boat nearly to capacity. This is a 19 foot boat. It has a 24 volt battery system, a 12 volt battery system, uh, live sonar poles. Every compartment is full of tackle. The fuel tank is full. I completely filled it yesterday. And I have two lots of camera cases and I weigh 100 and something, 106 kilos, but that's okay. <laughs> And this is a 115 on 19 foot boat, still pushing it to 75 k's an hour. Pretty impressed. Let's go. First cast. I'd like to catch fish first cast, but a bit loose. Don't have it too tight in here because if they run through that weed, the weed then adds extra drag as well as your drag. Yeah, like the weed adds add, well, heaps of extra pressure to your line. So you sort of want it to be coming off your reel, not 
struggling through your reel and struggling through the weed. But I can quickly, I mean that star drag is pretty easy. Quickly flick that back if I need even less. Or even face pull. Oh, what's going on my trolling motor? Did something to it, she's a bit stiff, making horrible noise. How nice is the start of the day? Hear that noise? Exactly. <laughs> so good. In case you didn't see my last video, this was the top water lure that got my first fish for 2024. The green. So I don't mind this colour. Looks like garfish, bit like long tom. Bit subtle, has the white belly. But that is the one from last last vid. May change colours today, but we'll see. We'll stick with that to start with. Scare me those things, I don't know why. <laughs> Expecting to get drilled by a big barra. You get the hit from those little fellas. Oh boil. Big boil that time. one of those annoying things. <laughs> Come on. Oh, big boil. Come on. Even though I nearly lost this thing last time, we are going to try again.
minimum at the moment. I stuffed up and forgot to charge them all. So I think I have three left. One in here, one in here, and or maybe I have four. I think I have two full ones. So I'm gonna just chill them for a bit until I start to think I'm gonna be in a bit more action. So I may miss the hookup, but I'm hoping not to. And we're looking straight into the sun, which is awesome. <laughs> But I'm gonna start seeing some more signs of fish, then I'll come back on. <laughs> oh, wow. He has me deep. Whoa, 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 whoa. My line is nowhere near him. He's there. Scary sound. <laughs> That's a big animal. It's a big fish. That's another big fish. Oh, he's in his gills. So, so it's a bad. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> wow. Bigger than the other day. <laughs> Look at this. Different colour. Oh wow. Mate, you have me in so much weed. Look at that. It's down the hatch. That's the white one. It's only 60 pounds. It does well that stuff. Have a go at that. <laughs> Can I see what's on the screen? Look at that. Look at that. That is down there. And a giant. Down the hatch, choked that. WTD. 120. Oh, it's all worth it when that happens, mate. Thanks. <laughs> Unhook your buddy. Thank you for that little experience, mate. It's epic.
quick measure and we'll get you back <laughs> yes 111 111 top water munching beast that's epic this place is insane <laughs> Quick retie and we're away. Got some nice scars on him already. Hooks are perfect still. And we're ready to rock and roll. <laughs> so that was very cool and very frustrating at the same time. Told you guys I wasn't gonna turn my camera on until I saw a sign of something. And literally two casts later, first cast nothing, second cast, um, as I was casting, saw a little black fin on the edge of the weed and it didn't look very big so it could have been a tail fin of a barra as he just ducked back down or maybe he was actually nosing down but it was very dark. And I thought, oh, that didn't look like a long time, you know, too big. But yeah, walked as I walked back near it, this thing just powered straight off the weed, smoked it. Very cool, started jumping and as you guys saw, buried me bad because I cast between those two towers to get him. And my braid wasn't cutting through the weed that good, but which is always scary. Like I said at the beginning, you don't want too much drag when that drag is there as well, but he tied himself out basically fighting a pile of weed while I was getting to him, but can't believe 111 off the top and fat. <laughs> That's epic. I was still a couple of hours, so let's go. I did see that guy's fin, yeah. And he wasted the ups on the things. One eleven. Drift so I don't scare anyone. Keep my eyes out. I'm walking the dog uh, with my rod up because the belly of my line gets caught by the wind and makes it hard to walk. Plus, if these fish are in the line that I'm in and I go over them with my line going down, you risk spooking them keep it up and I don't spook anyone and I don't get affected by the wind hey Siri what's the time it's 8 or 2 a.m. one hour left stuff. There's a barramundi. Oh, that's annoying.
new spot and give the cow cutter another crack. I like to look at this spot. But we'll see. See what the barrow have to say. Have about 15 minutes left. Last cast. Oh no, that's not the last one. I've got any one more because that's terrible. The wind got a hold of me. Floating bits of <coughs> floating bits of long weed. Often, if it looks too good to be true, it is. Well, almost all bar videos, I have some sort of tackle tip or technical thing to say. So I guess this shouldn't be any different, even though it's top water. And I'm purely just trying to do this for the uh, for the excitement factor, I guess. But let's run through it quick, and I'll explain why. Because I'm now going through three different combos to find the one that I really like. So the lure. I thought I mentioned this at the start of my last video, and maybe in the other video, but people are still messaging and asking, is it a Molex? Yes, this is a Molex. WTD 120. So WTD, walk the dog, very simple. It's the 120 size. I upgraded the hooks. Front hook 1.0, tail hook is a 1. And number 4, band for rings. Hooks are my DT 58Fs, just because they're so sticky like that fish. In my last video, just had that size 1, just through the skin in the corner. Today's fish, uh, <laughs> He inhaled that thing, like fully inhaled it, which was amazing to see because I was a little bit nervous about just catching on the outside in that heavy weed. Because um, in that heavy weed with the lure on the outside of their face with separate hooks, they have a tendency to um, rip them out real easily. So the combo, which I think now is going to be my go-to. I do love my Calcutta from the last video. But the rod the car cutter is on is a little bit heavy. It's a 964. So this is the IMX Pro 904. And I've ran through several combos. The other combo which you haven't seen me using was an X Pride with my 200 Crado DC. Apologies for the interruption. I'm not sure where I got to with that, but battery went flat. If you want to know how many batteries it takes to do a top water film, that's how many <laughs> just to get the bites I'll try and guess where I was up to rods I'm wearing the 904c Lumis IMX Pro so what I found with top order all species or anything to do with walk the dog is having a softer taper softer tip rod is the go so when you walk the dog you need to allow the lure to walk left and right side to side and how that essentially works is by throwing slack line or allowing line to be slack if your reel is super fast like my calcutta you're able to do it just by turning the handle like uh, just each quarter turn or half turn of my handle makes it walk left to right and because you're stopping it's sliding forward and veering off with that bit of slack line. It's not as wide a S as I get from this combo, but that is another option if you don't have the softer tape rod, is a high speed reel. <clears throat> One rod I was using was an X Pride and 
my 200 DC and I could cast that lure a mile on that setup. It was beautiful, but it was essentially a bit hard to walk the dog. That rod is very, very fast, which means like if you shake it, the recovery is almost instant. So walking the dog, even though it's not a super heavy rod, the lure doesn't load the rod and you essentially just with a, with a stiff tip, just bouncing it. And you can do it, but it does take a bit of work. And when the fishing isn't exactly going off, you want to have simple, easy things to do. The other side of it, running my Corrado 300 with that big single handle. And that big single handle is also amazing for walking the dog. Just the cadence of me rocking the rod tip and that big handle just seems to be super easy. And that is now going to be my top water combo. Braid uh, is PE3 Grappler. I think it's 57 pound and the leader is the 60 pound Sunline FC. And as you can see, I trust my line and I trust my leader. That line was through the weeds, something shocking with a 111 and a big fat 111, that fish was heavy. And I'm never really that stressed about the line breaking. Um, I was a little bit nervous when the, the leader was under its gill raker at one point, I could see him there, but I just wasn't going crazy on him. He, was, I could see him fully, I could see the weed, so just staying calm too helps in that scenario. But he didn't chew through that 60 pound. I don't go any heavier than 60, I don't feel I need to. Um, like you saw, you don't get much more chaos than that with a giant fish in the weed, and it will stay buttoned up as long as you're not silly with it. And if you run real heavy, 80, 100 pound, then walking the dog and walking the dog becomes a bit more difficult as well. You have a bigger, heavy sinking line at the tip, and you also have um, that stiffer line on the front of the lure, not even allowing it the freedom to walk. Another option, I guess, which I haven't found a good one, is a monofilament leader in maybe 60 or 80, as long as it is fairly soft, because monofilament also floats, which helps to walk the dog and keep your line above the water and that i guess is essentially walking the dog top water for big barra it is my second session for 2024 and i already have a second pb off the top in this place so that is amazing that's not my pb off the top altogether my pb off the top is 120 in kinchin well over 120 uh, back in the early days of Kinchin, which was very cool. But we're not here to talk about this. We're here to catch topwater fish here. But, so anyway, I'm now rambling because it's tired. <clears throat> anyway, I'm now rambling because I'm tired. Early start and so much sun. Didn't bring any food or water, which was also silly. So it's after nine. I set myself the deadline of nine o'clock to get out of here. It's now after nine. set myself the deadline of nine o'clock to get out of here to be heading home it's now well and truly after nine so it's time for me to get out of here head home bit of a storm coming by the looks of it i don't know if it has any rain in it but either way i have so much work to do and so much editing to do and i'm going to be uploading another top water video tonight if you have any questions about where what i'm fishing how i'm fishing areas to look for just drop them in the comments and i'll get back to you we can shoot them in my socials either way but thanks as always for tuning in much appreciated and uh i'll see you all in the next one